remember, safety first, you only get one set of eyes. On this episode, we're going to install some inner tubes on an old lawn wagon that I have. Again, I got this for free, so this will sweeten the deal even more. Here I'll use this handy paint key that's on my keychain to start this whole thing out. What I want to do is pick the tire up just enough off the rim where I can sneak my fingers in there and then pull straight up. I'll stand close to the wagon and put my feet on the other tire to make sure it stays where it belongs when I start to pull on it. Now I'll lift the tire enough to come to the center of the rim, shift to the side, and then pick up on it, and it should peel off the bottom beam. Because this tire was full of mud, I've rinsed it out with the garden hose. Now when checking a tire for the possible object that punctured the tire, always use a rag. If it made it through the tire, you don't want that embedded in your hand. Now we'll clean off the rim to make sure there's no debris to damage the new inner tube. Now grab your handy vice grips and close them down to about so. We're going to use this to remove the stem from the rim. Seeing that we're using a tube, we no longer need this. I've put baby powder in the tire and this helps the tube seat itself as it starts to inflate. When installing the tire, always remember to put the numbers out. This just makes it a whole lot easier later. When working with a lawn and garden tire like this one, you should never have to use a pry bar to put it back on the rim. Now that we have the lower bead of the tire installed, now it's time to install the tube. Always make sure that the assembly stays clean and free of debris. This debris can later destroy the tube. Now line up the valve stem on the inner tube with the hole in the rim and insert the inner tube into the tire. With the stem inserted through the hole in the rim, give the tire assembly a shake up and down to allow the inner tube to settle. Now it's time to install the upper bead. Again, shake the assembly up and down a little bit and double check the valve stem to make sure it's exiting the rim hole straight. And now let's inflate the inner tube halfway and then we'll give it a little shake again just to make sure the inner tube is seating properly. Now let's finish inflating the tire to its appropriate pressure. Here we have the finished wagon ready to be put into service. Check out other Fat Game videos to keep your project moving.